When working with Kubernetes, our environment could become complex. Many pods, many nodes, many services, and a lot of objects to handle. So it could be useful to have a graphical tool to help in this purpose. And for that, we have the Kubernetes dashboard, what would could be configured to be utilized. However, it's not native installed with Kubernetes. We have to install that manually. In this web page, we have the rolling procedure to install and configure that. And in this video, we are going to execute that together from the installation to the usage of Kubernetes dashboard. Based in the instructions provided in this web page, I have prepared here a script I'm going to share with you that I describe step to step what has to be done. And I have simplified some steps that was described at this web page and I think it will be easier to you to have this dashboard available. So the first step is to download and execute the creation of objects to have dashboards available. As you can see, this AML file, it's a complex document that specifies several objects from Kubernetes to be installed. Okay, so this is the configuration document for dashboards. We have just to execute that using this apply command from kubeconfig. So you have just to copy this instruction here and from your console you execute that, considering of course you have your kubeconfig available. Now we have dashboard already created and then we have to make that available to be accessed from our web browser, from our local computer. And to make that possible, we have then to execute the proxy command. It will make the dashboard available to be accessed locally. Once you have done that, our, our dashboard will be listening at this port, but then we have to access one very specific URL that are provided in the documentation. In case you open here the website, the same URL is available here. Okay, so if you type now this URL at this point, we face this screen here. So next step, we need to know how to find the token we have to input here to have access to our dashboard. And now to get the token to use the dashboard application, you we'll have to execute two commands in your line prompt command. Just as execute this instruction here that will display all the secrets we have in our Kubernetes environment. Then, of course, it could depend on your environment, but for our test purpose, you could just copy some of them out in the same environment here for me. So we just need to copy some of them and then execute this second command here in which we have to replace the circuit name for some of the secret names here. And then we are going to get the token. So now executing that, we could just copy and paste here and choose some of the secrets like, okay, I take this last one and then first paste that here. And here it is, the token, you can just copy that and then use that for entering in the dashboard web interface. And now using the token we have just copied, pasting that here in this proper field, we could just request to access. And here we are. We are inside our Kubernetes dashboard. And here we are able to see the whole objects we have in our environment. Of course, here I have utilized that in a default and empty environment. But then from here, you have all the functionalities from this dashboard tool. Thank you for watching, see you next time.